we wanted our own design and we wanted to know how long it's going to take and we wanted certainty. Julian and Kate have persuaded a kit house company to design a kit just for them. Look and feel of it, it's, it's just that you want more space. Yes, we want more space, okay. so I think it makes sense really yeah. to, to start from scratch and have it exactly how we'd like it. But we are really sad because we love the external appearance of this house and, and it really is a shame to knock it down. But at the end of the day we've, we've got two children mm -hmm. and we need more space. The existing house is roughly 1,700 square feet, the new one will be 4,500 square feet. Julian and Kate's house is being made in a factory. The British are not natural kit house buyers. There's a lingering suspicion of a house which is mass produced, which comes, I think, from the post-war years when bombed out Britain looked the infamous prefab to solve a temporary housing shortage. Today, it's all very high tech. The walls of the Four Shores house, for instance, will have better insulation properties than most traditionally built homes. With my architectural training, I'm always a little bit ambivalent about a house that arrives in a box but I can see the advantage of knowing what you're going to get and how much it's going to cost. And in these troubled financial times, that can count for a lot. Talking of child's play, on a cold February morning, the demolition men make light work of knocking down the Forshaw's family home. The house may be ready at the factory, but it's the middle of March before the builders can start putting up the prefabricated panels which will form the outer walls of Julian and Kate's new home. Day one brings a bird's eye view of the layout. You can see straight away how much bigger this house is going to be than the 1920s model. It's in a different league altogether. In the first week on site, Julian and Kate's new house shoots up just as they had hoped, but can't quite believe. The rooms are here by day two. The partitions on day three. The first floor rafters on day four. The foreshores are struck by how quiet the whole process is. Lots of nails being driven home, but very little sawing. The whole idea is that this frame was cut to tight tolerances in the factory and now fits together with only the sound of wood being passed from hand to hand. Pre-cut timber and a nail gun appear to be all you need at this stage of the process and a good set of drawings to make sure that part A connects to part B. Two weeks later, on the 1st of April, the steels arrive. They'll form part of the roof Julian and Kate are amazed that it's all going to plan. Where are the lazy builders, the missed deadlines, the budget overruns? Not on this job, apparently. Kate and Julian have the best of both worlds. They're certainly getting the best of the weather, which allows the builders to be here in force. They need to be if the kit house company is to keep its promise to complete this project in just eight months from start to finish. Building a house of this size conventionally would take considerably longer. I can't believe how this house has come on. I mean, the progress has been incredible. Yes, all, all the builders have been working very, very hard indeed. Normally each day there are 10 to 14 people turning up. Uh, the working Saturdays, they've now done first fix and they are now on second fix. Mm. And we should hopefully be finished in about two months time, which is bang on schedule. And all this speed, what about the quality? Very, very pleased indeed. Uh, there have been one or two things we've mentioned. They've been changed straight away, and I've been very, very impressed indeed with them. What about you, Kate? Has it been stressful? Um, well, so far, it hasn't been as stressful as I was expecting, actually, which has, has been uh, really good. Um, and I think because it's, it's a wooden framed house, um, what's fantastic is that uh, the um, men have been working on the outside as well as the um, inside, so the brickwork's not quite finished yet, but uh, that doesn't matter because uh, uh, they're able to um, be inside, they're doing the plastering and uh, working really quickly. That's good. Um, so, so it's been that easy. Any sort of ideas you might want to do another one when this one's finished? Well, it, yeah, Julian's already uh, yes, wishing really he'd love to do to. another one, wouldn't uh, you? Really? I'm perfectly happy to, because I think once, once you've sourced everything once, yeah. the second time round will be yeah. much easier. Yeah. Kate's kitchen is being installed. 
and that old trick is happening. The more furniture you put in a space, the bigger it appears. It's the same story upstairs, where the bathroom to the master suite is going in, along with the fitted wardrobes in Eleanor's bedroom. Outside, the builders are finishing the drainage and starting on a landscaping scheme, which will give this new house an imposing setting. Remember at the start of this project, I asked Kate and Julian Forshaw why they wanted to knock down a perfectly good 1920s house. The answer, they wanted more space. And have they got it? Julian, Kate, Hi, hello. hello. Nice to see you. And you, how are nice you, Kate? Nice to see you. Wow, what a transformation. Yeah, we're really, yeah. really pleased. Yeah, how are you feeling about it? Yes, uh, just, just relieved it's all over with, really. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem so long ago that we came in and we were going up ladders. Yes, And yes. now the light's filtering yes, down this stairwell beautifully. It? Worked yes. really well. And the lounge, what great size rooms. Yes, so no, it's worked out so very, much, very well indeed. So much bigger than the old house. Yeah. What immediately strikes you as you walk in through the front door is that view into the back garden. Yes. It's lovely. Yes, and we're really pleased with the way that has uh, worked out, actually, because it's exactly what we wanted. Um, and uh, it's a lovely view out the back and in the old house um, we just didn't optimise the view at all. It feels like it works very well that the, the main rooms lead directly off this grand hallway. You've got the dining area, the kitchen here leads on to the lounge so it feels like you've got a good arrangement of, of social spaces. Yes. It feels good. Yes it works well. And the kitchen? How did that come in? Was that okay? Yes, uh, no we're <coughs> pleased with it. Or Kate was ever so keen to have a quartz worktop, yeah. so she just loves the, the sparkles on yeah, the I love, worktop. Yeah, I love my worktop. Yeah. And, when, and then when the sun comes around, does it kind of catch it and it glint? It does, and yeah. It's fantastic, yeah. it really sparkles. Of course, designing and planning a kitchen is one thing, but how's it worked out in practice? It's exactly how we wanted it to be, um, and it's uh, become the hub of the house. Um, and having two children, we're in here a lot, cooking meals in the evening, and Alex and Eleanor tend to sit here and eat, and we sit at the table. And um, it's just a fantastic space that you can do a lot with it. What were you wanting from a family lounge? We were hoping it to be a reasonable size and it to be square. Uh, the last house was long and narrow. For the young foreshores, Alex and Eleanor, this house means much more space and a greater opportunity to do their own thing. Ellen, I heard your room was really worth seeing and uh, <laughs> it, it is. How did you choose these colours in the wallpaper? Well, I, I knew I wanted something interesting. Yeah. I knew I wanted something very bright and colourful and I think that's what I've got. So is the new house a vast improvement on the old one? Definitely, because it's a lot bigger. Yeah. I have a lot more room to do what I want to do. And your, your room, is that better? Yeah, a lot better, because I have my own one suite now. Of course, so you, yeah. it's very, very luxurious, you're very lucky. You've got quite a kind of like a, a kind of luxurious but funky feel, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Does that say something about you, do you think? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this house has more than doubled the space which Julian and Kate, Alex and Eleanor have to live in. But it's given them something else, a logical layout, which was lacking in the 1920s house it replaced and, since that was their aim, they think the project has been a huge success. In fact, I get a sense that they can't quite believe they've done it. How are you feeling now that the house is finished? Well, I'm just really pleased that uh, it's worked out as well as it has done. And we've got the house that we really wanted. Yeah. Um, and we've got a lot more space, which was um, the plan. A lot more light, because um, the old house was quite dark really I think wasn't it so the new so layout has worked the, much better yeah layout you. is fantastic and that's what we really wanted to achieve when we first met you told me that you wanted to design a house where both you and Alex and Eleanor could have private space yes and if they have friends back 
Um, they've got their own space, so they can do what they want, really. Yes, yes. so they've got really the well. privacy from yeah. you as well as Which the other way around. Want. Oh, yeah, yes, exactly. yes. Yeah. I think it works both ways. Yeah. Mm. From the start, you seem reluctant to use an architect, a designer, a kitchen designer. So you took those roles on yourself. How did you find it? What we did was that I think we looked at lots of different houses and we just we just picked the best design features from those houses and 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 I think we've got what we wanted. This being a kit house, you should theoretically have come in on budget and on time, you know, the whole thing having been planned out and sewn up right from the beginning. Is that what happened? Yes, it was. Uh, we were very lucky indeed that we did come in slightly under budget. As far as timing is concerned, we started in January when the weather was absolutely appalling. Uh, and we actually moved in on the 1st of September, so timing-wise, we were very happy indeed. From the very first day, Kate and Julian told me that they weren't interested in architects and interior designers. They'd done their research, they knew what they wanted, and what they wanted was this. They're good enough to admit that they've learned some lessons along the way, but on the whole, it's been a positive experience. So positive, in fact, that they say they'd do it all over again. In the meantime, for Kate, Julian, Alex and Eleanor, this is their dream home.